What's up Team Outcast, Jonathan Buckhouse here and it's time for another resort review. This is the video series where we go to a brand new ski resort, we absolutely rip it, we explore it, we see what it has to offer and then we come back here and we're gonna give it a score from zero to 100. The way we'll get that score is by going over 10 categories, each category getting a score from zero to 10. Zero is not applicable, meaning they don't have it at all. One is terrible, five is average, and 10 is best in the world. Now these are the rules we play by, so deal with it. That's what we're gonna go through and then at the end, I'm gonna tell you who this resort is for. Right after you guys hit the subscribe button, and the resort we are covering today is the Mountaintop at Geneva in Wisconsin. Now this is a small ski resort on top of a massive country club spa resort thing. This thing is massive. So it's gonna definitely tailor the score a little bit. But the Mountaintop at Geneva has an elevation of 1,086 feet, a vertical drop of 211 feet, and 30 skiable acres, six of which are dedicated to the terrain park. Lastly, it only gets 25 inches of snowfall each year. So the majority of the snow is man-made. <laughs> Now that we know all of that, let's jump into lift prices, our first category. How expensive is it to ride at the mountaintop at Geneva? And at $65 for the day, I thought that was pretty expensive. I gave him a four on the lift prices. For what you're getting, $65 is uh, definitely up there on the price. Now lodging, we're gonna wanna do ski in, ski out. I don't really think there's ski in, ski out, but on the whole property, you know, the whole villa, whatever, the country club, whatever you wanna call this, there's a bunch of options. They have villas to stay in, they have this massive like hotel that you can stay in with a crazy pool in the back. So when it came to places to stay at the mountaintop of Geneva, I gave them a seven. Now ease of access, how easy is it to get to this ski resort? Other than driving through the massive property that they own, it's super easy. They are only 55 minutes from the Milwaukee airport as well, so you can fly in, get to the resort super easy. So when it came to the ease of access, I gave them a six. There's really gonna be no issues getting to this ski resort at all. Now I know what you're thinking, why did you go ride the mountaintop at Geneva? And it's because the videos went absolutely viral. <laughs> Check them out, they're linked in the description. But no, the real reason why we went is we have a goal to ride every resort in the United States. And the way you guys can track that progress is by going to resortskimaps.com. This is a map of every resort in the United States. All the green ones you can click on and watch the video there. If you click on a red one, nothing's gonna happen because we haven't been there yet. So if it's your resort and you wanna know when I'm coming, click on the top right hand corner and you can see our schedule for this upcoming season if we're coming your way. You know, take off of work, skip school, whatever you wanna to do to come work with us because we love riding with you guys on the mountain and then you guys make the experience better as well as show us all the cool runs, all the best park stuff, places to eat so then we can give you guys the best resort reviews. So thank you to everyone that does ride with us. But once again, check out resortskimaps.com. All of our stats for the seasons are there. Once again, you can just waste an hour looking at every resort in the US or the world and it's a really cool place. So check out resortskimaps.com. Now chair lifts, we gotta get up the mountain, get up the hill, whatever you wanna call this place. And they have three lifts, three surface lifts, one being a tow rope, two being carpets. And you're gonna have no issue getting to where you wanna go, getting to the top of these mountains. But they're older lifts, they're not too fancy, they're kind of uncomfortable. I think they got the like the metal backing that's like meh, not the best. So when it came to chair lifts, I gave them a two on the lifts. Now runs, we're gonna wanna, this is why we're here, you know, we gotta do the runs. And sadly, their runs aren't that great. They are steep, they do have this black run that was like kind of like, whoa! get some speed on it. Other than that, like it's, they're short, they're mellow, like they're nothing great to them. So when it came to runs, I gave them a two, even though they do have like the only black diamond in Wisconsin or one of them. Anyways. Now terrain park. Usually these small Wisconsin Midwest resorts have insane parks and theirs was being built when we were, we were showing up. They do have six acres dedicated to it and a tow rope, which is actually pretty impressive that they have their own dedicated park section, but we didn't get to ride it. And I can't find any images or videos of the park. I found like the tiniest image in a video. And when you Google the terrain park, you get this image, which would be insane if that was in Wisconsin, but we know it's not. I saw the tiniest sliver of the park in a like skier video online and so, it looked okay. I'm gonna go with the easy average five in the middle. I heard it was good, so I gave him a five. Now, if you want everyone to know that you're a part of Team Hubhouse or you want to support the dream of riding every resort in the United States, consider snagging an Evolution sticker. We do have a ski version of all of our merch for all the skiers out there. If you throw it inside of your helmet, let everyone know you're a part of Team Hubhouse. And if you're rocking it, there's a good chance that I might find you on the mountain and say what up to you. Yo, little dude, that is a sick sticker. What's up? That's the sickest sticker. What's your name? Oh. 
So snagging the merch supports the dream, and if you do snag it, tag me on my Instagram, and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shoutouts in the vlogs. Now food, we're gonna get hungry, we're gonna wanna eat on the mountain or the resort, and they had like 13 different types of options between like the resort actually having its own restaurant to like the whole villa area has like average food to incredible food to coffee shop, like you're gonna find food on this resort. So when it came to food, like literally have every type from fancy to normal. I gave him a 10 on the food, literally everything you could want. The other thing about the food, I pulled up the menu and the prices for the food were incredibly fair. Now views and scenery, how sick is it to ride at the mountaintop of Geneva? Well, it kind of got spoiled because we showed up at sunset. So the views were incredible, but being at a thousand foot elevation in Wisconsin actually puts you pretty high up. You could see forever and it was a 360 view. And so they got a pretty good score for of using CNA at a five. The 360 view, that, that is a big deal. Now employees, we don't cover snow conditions because one, we're riding in the Midwest, but two, we ride early to late seasons. A good snowstorm obviously could change that score. So we don't cover snow conditions. It's inconsistent. You know, we can't do that, but we cover employees because you can have an employee absolutely ruin your day on the mountain like we did at Keystone. You can check out the Keystone incident right there, or you can have an employee absolutely make your day on the mountain like once again, we had at Keystone. So we cover employees because one employee could ruin your trip or make it. You know, if that guy at the rental shop goes above and beyond, make sure the board's perfect for you. That board rips the entire trip, amazing or he could just give you whatever because he was tired, lazy. Just here's the, here's the deck, deal with it. And you have a bad time because that snowboard wasn't working for you. That's why we cover employees, it's important. And so the mountaintop at Geneva, the people we interacted with were all just kind of kids that didn't really care and like weren't very helpful and we needed to get past it. Like it was, it was kind of a meh situation. They weren't great, they weren't bad, but they weren't very helpful either. So I gave them a four when it came to employees, just a little dink down because they weren't the most helpful people out there. And they're kind of kids that like, you could tell like, we're just, this was their, their after school job. Now the last category, the would I go back factor, because if I wouldn't go back to a ski resort, why would I recommend it to you guys? And on the would I go back, I gave him a five because uh, I would go back. I mean, I, I want to see the park. I definitely want to check it out. The kid that we ran into there actually like killed the vibe, made the day so fun. This out of our Midwest trip last year made the, I, this was my favorite resort of that whole trip. So the small little run to the little jump that everything we did there was a bunch of fun. So uh, yeah, I gave him a five on the would I go back. It, it definitely exceeded our expectations when we were starting off our day there. Now, before I tell you the score from zero to 100 and who this resort is for, make sure you guys check out the resort view playlist or go back to resortskimaps.com and you can check out all the resort view scores on resortskimaps.com as well. Now, the mountaintop at Geneva out of 100 got a score of <laughs> smash like <laughs> of 50, an average score, which is crazy for a little resort to get a score like this, but it was an incredible time. I do think that you could come on a vacation here and have an incredible time as well. And that leads us into who is this resort for? I I would say families, you know, intermediate riders. I mean, you're gonna get a little bored if you're an intermediate rider. If you're learning how to ride, this is a great place for you. But I think families, I think if you're going to this whole resort, you know, villa area and you want to ski, but also golf, but also this, play at a pool, like this is a great spot for you. And so that's who this resort is for. And with that, Team Outcast, thank you so much for spreading with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow with another video because it is daily on this snowboard channel.